last night I dreamed. Well, I I dreamed something, but I can't remember it now. I ended up waking up around 10 o'clock this morning, and before I fell back asleep, I tried my hardest to commit what I had just dreamed to memory so that I could recount it here for you guys today. Um, but I, I can't remember it. Forgot it. But, yeah, I did end up falling back asleep for about another three hours, and I did have another dream during that time. I do recall this one. Uh, my brother and I were watching television. We were watching a concert performance on TV. Um, and I looked up at my brother, my brother was standing, and I asked him if there were any good REM concert DVDs or Blu-rays out. And I said, not the Austin Shitty Limits one. I've seen that one before. It's a good performance, and I'm sure it's on disc somewhere, but any, are there any others? And he said that he wasn't sure. So he said that he was going to go downstairs and, and look it up. Our computer's downstairs here in the basement. And uh, he walks down the steps, and then just a moment later, he comes running back up the steps. I mean, just running like there's a cro like there's a crocodile down in the basement. So I, you know, I run over to him. He's he's gasping for breath, <laughs> and I say, "What's what's wrong? What's going on? What you know? What happened?" And he says to me, "Oh, it's just the, the Gary Marshall band is setting up down in the basement. I just they're just weird. I don't want to talk to him." The only Gary Marshall that I'd been aware of until this morning was uh, the host of a Cleveland area public access cable show that I believe ran from the late 1980s to like the early, maybe the mid 1990s. I know he had um, the genuine nerd Toby Radloff on frequently as a guest. But it turns out there is actually a Gary Marshall band, but they call themselves the Gary Marshall Trio Band. 